Hello, friends, and welcome to podcast episode number 42, What to Wear for Thanksgiving. In this episode, you'll discover the three things a good Thanksgiving outfit should accomplish, how your clothes can help keep you grounded on a stressful day, the one thing that is most important when choosing an outfit that most women overlook, pitfalls to avoid when dressing for the big day. And why choosing your shoes first can make all the difference. But first, are you frustrated with shopping and feel there must be a better way? Then I invite you to try out Style Finder Boutique. My husband Jim and I, aka Big Daddy, opened Style Finder in 2015 to bring women just like you the best in upscale casual clothing that's perfect for work, the weekend, and everything in between. We offer three easy ways to shop. You can shop with us 24-7 at shopstylefinder.com or you can download the Style Finder Boutique app for both iPhone and Android. Be sure you turn notifications on so you know when we go live. You'll not only find a selection of amazing clothing, but we offer tools and resources to ensure you get clothing that's right for you. From our Shop the Look videos that offer styling suggestions to fit videos and measurements that help you determine if something will fit your shape, we bring the best of online shopping to your laptop or mobile device. Use code PODCASTLOVE to save 20% on your first order online or on the app. If you're in Raleigh, North Carolina, then I invite you to visit our brick-and-mortar location. We're in North Hill Shopping Center, and our team of stylists are here to assist you in curating the perfect outfit, selecting the perfect gift, or building a whole new wardrobe. Who knows, I might be in the boutique myself to personally help style you. We help you know what to wear and how to wear it so you can feel confident and beautiful every single day. Let us be your style's secret weapon so you can dress like you mean it. Welcome to Style by Mary Michelle, a podcast designed to empower you through personal style. I'm your host, Mary Michelle Nidefer, a master style coach, founder of Style Finder Boutique and creator of the Style Finder ID system. I'm here to help you know what to wear, how to wear it, and how to get dressed in seven minutes or less. Let's go. Hello, friends. I'm so excited to share with you today what to wear for Thanksgiving. Now, Thanksgiving is almost here, and you might be running around planning your menu, thinking about who's coming, where you're going, if you're traveling, and you may not have given much thought to what you're going to wear. But let me tell you that what you wear sets the tone for the entire day. So I want to encourage you to give it some thought, carefully plan out your outfit so that you can set yourself up for success. I know as a master style coach that when you can plan what you're going to wear, it just makes everything run more smoothly. And then you have time to think about the right shoes, the right pants. You can get it right. You're not worried about what you're wearing. You're focused on your guests. You're focused on your meal and you're focused on having a beautiful day and can truly be grateful without the stress. So let me start with a quote today. Be thankful for what you have. You'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you'll never ever have enough. Those are wise words from Oprah Winfrey, and she certainly has a lot to be grateful for. And as we all do, I have so much to be grateful for. And every day I've started doing a gratitude practice and it's just amazing. Like, oh yeah, that happened or this happened, or it just helps me to really turn my focus to appreciate the small things. Yeah. I really try to encourage my kids to be grateful. And my son, he's learning, he's 15, he's learning but I feel like he always says the same things. And I tell him, think about it. Don't just have your pat answer. But when you can really, really think about what you have to be grateful for, there's another great quote I'll share with you. And it's from Albert Einstein. And it is at something to the effect of you can see everything as a miracle or you can see nothing as a miracle. And I like to think that gratitude opens up how many miracles are in our lives. The fact that we woke up this morning, I mean, we could take that for granted or we could just be in awe of the fact that we're still here. We have 
our health, we have our home, we have our family. I have personally have so much to be grateful for. And I really enjoy feeling that gratitude. And then I just have this feeling of abundance. And it's just helps me to know that life is good. It helps me to shift my perspective. So there are so many things that go into Thanksgiving, into family dinner, and wearing something that can help you flex your superpowers of staying calm. Yes, you have superpowers of staying calm in the midst of a storm goes a long way towards creating a day that's memorable for all the right reasons. We all can think of occasions that have been memorable for all the wrong reasons, right? You know, maybe somebody had a temper tantrum, somebody was in a bad mood, somebody drank too much, you know, just for reasons that we don't want to remember. But I tell you what, I know from my own personal experience, when you show up to an event, you might have some anxiety about who's going to be there or what's going to happen. But when you can feel grounded in your style and grounded in yourself, it helps to set you up for success. Now, a good Thanksgiving outfit should accomplish three things. One, it should help you to feel confident. Confident, right? You don't want to walk up to an event or show up at someone's home and and not feel like you're your best self. Now, ladies, thank you for bearing with me today. I'm still getting over this sinus issue and (laughs) I'm doing my best. Now, so, okay. So number one, a good Thanksgiving outfit should help you feel confident. A good Thanksgiving outfit should help you to feel comfortable no matter what you eat, right? You don't want to be having, as my brother coined the term years ago, fat pains. (laughs) Or if you're having fat pains, you don't want your pants to make you even more uncomfortable. I know sometimes after a big meal, a lot of people feel the need to unbutton. Well, I've got some tips on helping you to work around that and to be a little bit more elegant about it. And number three, most importantly, a good Thanksgiving outfit should help to ground you so that you stay calm, cool, and collected no matter what meltdowns are happening around you. It could be your kids. It could be your parents. It could be your siblings. It could be your neighbors, your friends, whatever's going on around you. You can just feel calm and grounded in who you are. Juggling multiple sides, relatives running late, your husband burning the turkey, you know, how that goes, a spat between your siblings, someone arriving a little bit tipsy. Many things can go wrong on Thanksgiving day. That is a day that we're meant to express our gratitude. And when things like that go wrong, it can put us in a very bad mood, right? But I want you to think about your clothes as armor. Your clothes can be like armor, providing a source of comfort and protection against all the outside influences around you. You may not be able to control what happens around you, but you can control how you feel. And that starts with feeling confident, comfortable, and grounded in your clothes. Clothes are so much more than just a covering for your body. Clothes provide you with comfort. They remind you of who you are, who you want to be, how you want to show up. I know sometimes when I see a picture of myself, I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's the woman I want to be. And it's a reminder that that's who I am. I just need to, you know, shift my mindset, get back in that groove. So your clothes can be that. Just think about, you know, like if you're dressed a certain way, you're going to act in accordance with how you're showing up. And so let me share with you some ways to do that. All right. Step number one, choose something you love. Now that might seem super obvious and a no brainer, but it is no secret that when you wear something you love, it just makes you feel good. And a lot of women don't think about that. They think, well, I should wear this or I should wear that. Do you love it? Oh yeah, maybe you do, or maybe you don't. But I think a lot of women get away from what they truly love in their clothes. And that's half the battle right there. So choose something that you love and you don't just love it on the hanger. You love it on your body. It doesn't pinch. It doesn't bind. It makes you feel good. I know the outfit I put on today just feels more like me. I've got on my favorite cowboy boots. I've got on my super comfy leggings. I've got on my liquid leather jacket, some jewelry that I love. And I feel more like me today. It's, but it's not about my outfit. It's about who I become in the clothes. And that's what happens when you wear something you love. It pulls out the best version of you. It helps you be more, it it helps you to be more connected to who you are 
and it can boost your confidence like crazy. This confidence will carry you through the day and remind you of the amazing woman you are, thereby potentially preventing you from losing your cool when your in-laws arrive and demand that their dishes take up the entire oven. You know how that goes, right? All right, number two, and this is important. And this actually, this came from uh, one of our models for one of our fashion shows. She came in to the boutique at Style Finder and tried on some of our pull-on pants. And she said, oh my gosh, these are pants I can eat in. Perfect for Thanksgiving, right? So number two is pants that you can eat in. Thanksgiving is a day of celebration. It is an opportunity to share meals, conversation, and just really spend time with your family, your friends, or whoever you choose to be with. It's not necessarily the day for dieting. And so when you wear pants that are comfortable, and I'm not saying full on sweatpants, go slouchy. What I am saying is wear some pants, maybe pull on jeans, maybe it's leggings that have a little bit of structure, then this is going to help you feel more comfortable. There is nothing worse than showing up with pants that are a little bit too tight, that give you a muffin top, and then you eat too much. And then you're really super uncomfortable. That is a recipe for crankiness right there. I've talked about the dreaded muffin top and how that can put somebody in a bad mood faster than anything else. Well, maybe not anything else, but pretty darn fast, right? And so when you have pants that you can eat in, it just helps you to feel more comfortable. You're not pinched. You're not feeling constricted. You're not uncomfortable. Or if you are uncomfortable, it's because you did eat too much. And that's it. that happens internally, but your pants are accommodating. So wear pants that you can eat in. This is your mantra. This is your mantra for starting your outfit. And I'm going to give you some tips for putting together the perfect outfit in a few minutes. But these are things you want to think about. Number three, accessorize with ease. Adding in just the right necklace, earrings, or scarf will help you take your look to new heights while keeping, keeping things simple and understated. Thanksgiving is not the time to pile on the accessories, so a little goes a long way. I know I was in the kitchen recently, and I had on a long necklace, and I had a drapey off-the-shoulder blouse on, and I was trying to cook, and my clothes and my jewelry kept getting in the way. And I just thought I should have come upstairs and changed. I was trying to get some things done. I was chopping vegetables and making soup and making all sorts of good stuff. But my clothes, my jewelry got in the way. And so I want you to dress for the occasion. Are you a guest at Thanksgiving? Maybe you can wear something that's a little bit more elaborate. If you're the cook and you're spending time washing dishes or serving up dishes, or you've got your hands in the water or in the food, then you want to go more simple. You don't want something where when you bend over, your necklace is going to be in the mashed potatoes. You don't want your top to be sliding off your shoulder when you lean over. So think about what you're wearing and how it works for you. And are your accessories getting in your way? If so, wear some simple earrings or simple necklace and keep it at that. All right. Tip number four, wear layers. If you're indoors with a group of people, what that means is that the temperature is going to be fluctuating. Wearing layers allows you to be prepared for lounging in front of a roaring fire. Maybe you step outside on the deck, or we always like to take an afternoon walk on Thanksgiving. And so wearing layers gives you options. Don't show up wearing your biggest, heaviest turtleneck, and then you have nowhere to go from there. You're either really warm or you're uncomfortable. Wear options. Can you wear a top? with maybe a cardigan and maybe a jacket over that and bring a scarf. And so you can adjust to the temperature around you as needed. This is not the time to wear your fleece lined leggings or your heaviest sweater if you're going to be indoors. Think light layers that give you options and you'll be much less grumpy than if you had to suffer in silence. Number five, footloose and fancy free. Now, I will say I am not a big fan of wearing shoes in the house. I know some people have a no shoes in the house policy. It's not our policy, but me personally, if you come to my house and I'm entertaining, chances are I'm going to be barefoot or I've got a couple of around the house shoes. They're not slippers. They're um, actually some really super cute mules that I'll wear sometimes, but by the end of the night or the end of the event, 
they're going to be gone. I'm just a barefoot girl around the house. So if you come to my house on Thanksgiving, I'll be barefoot. However, when I go to someone else's house, I don't typically do that. So if you're the hostess, think about if you have people coming to your house, what are you going to wear on your feet? Do you want to get some super cute slippers? Will you be barefoot? Will you be wearing your sneakers, your boots? Think about what you're going to wear in your house. Or if you're the guest in someone else's house, think about what shoes you'll wear around the house. I'm a big fan of low heeled or wedge booties, athleisure sneakers, flats, or mid calf boots. Now, a lot of my boots are, you know, big boots, they're over the knee boots. And if I wear them to someone's house and we're sitting around the couch or sitting around the fireplace, they're just not the most comfortable things for lounging around the house. So think about your footwear. Will you be changing during the day? You know, will you be, you know, showing up at the event with your shoes on and then maybe they end up off at the end of the day, or maybe you want to change into sneakers or some flats, but think about that. Maybe you want to bring an option. I know there are so many cute options um, little flats that you can stick in your handbag, or, you know, even if you just want to bring a pair of like super fuzzy socks to wear, you know, something to cover your feet, or if you just want to go barefoot, that's up to you. But, you know, if you're in someone else's home, you may want to wear something on your feet, just, just for decorum purposes. So if you're a guest, choose something low key for a meal at home, rather than your over the knee boots or your spiky heels. That's going to be a little tricky, especially if you're on carpet, just lounging around the house. Those are better served for going out. Now, if you are wearing boots or sneakers, make sure you wear cute socks in case you want to take your shoes off. You do not want to be thinking about, oh, my socks have holes in them or they're worn out. Wear something nice. In fact, if they've got holes in them, just ditch them all together. You deserve better. All right, so now let's talk about how to build your outfit. So here's how I do it. And I'm just gonna give you some quick and easy tips. Plan with your shoes first. And while this may seem counterintuitive, hear me out. I do this a lot, not just for special occasions, but for every day, really. Because what I've found is that your shoes really dictate and determine what pants you wear, right? That's why we women have to have so many shoes because we have all these different cuts of pants or skirts. And when you can decide on what shoes you want to wear, then that really sets the tone and helps everything to flow from there. Now, I was getting ready the other day. In fact, this past weekend, uh, we were sitting around the house. I thought, I told Big Daddy, I said, I don't want to go anywhere. It's been a super, super busy week. And so I just, I got up. I didn't want to wear jeans that, you know, really just, sucked in my calves. Sometimes my skinny jeans, they do that. And if I'm wearing my boots and I'm out and about, it's great. It works really well for me. But if I'm lounging around the house, I want something a little more relaxed. So I put on my relaxed leg jeans, my straight leg Liverpools. And then Big Daddy decided he wanted to go out to breakfast. So then I had to figure out, well, what shoes am I going to wear with these? The shoes that I wanted to wear just didn't feel right with the pants. And then the top I had on, I'm like, oh, I've just got to change. I've got to, you know, create an outfit that's appropriate for going out. It wasn't just that easy. And the main issue was because of the shoes. So choose your shoes first. Now I will refer you. I have a whole podcast episode called Travel Chic. If you are traveling over Thanksgiving, I invite you to go listen to that. That gives you all sorts of tips for packing for travel and helps you to ensure that you'll have the right pieces, the right layers, the right shoes, everything that you need to have a great day. And so tips for creating your perfect Thanksgiving outfit in seconds. Start with your shoes first. Now think about this. I know some people do Thanksgiving outdoors. If you're going to be outdoors, you'll be wearing a certain type of shoe. If you're going to be lounging indoors all day, maybe you're just a, having a casual meal, you're eating by the fireplace, you're not even sitting at the table. Maybe you'll just have on your socks or you will be barefoot or some cute boots or cute slippers. Or if you are in someone's home and you're sitting at the table, maybe you do want shoes, but not the dressier shoes. Or will you be going out to a restaurant? Whatever your day entails, that will help you to understand what your shoe needs are. And then I want you to think about this though, as well. Will you be spending time in the car? I know on Thanksgiving day, we plan to go to my sister's house. We always spend Thanksgiving in Pinehurst with all my family members. We'll have 20 some odd people there and we have a huge smorgasbord. 
So I usually show up wearing some low key boots, uh, jeans, usually a top and a cardigan and maybe a jacket. And I build layers. I do the layer layers. But the key is having shoes that are comfortable, pants that are comfortable. So start with your shoes first, then choose your pants because your shoes dictate what pants you wear or your skirt or your dress. Now I'm using pants because I think a lot of women do wear pants on Thanksgiving. And so think about what type of pants you'll wear. If you're going to wear your boots, then you'll probably want to wear either leggings or skinny jeans. And so make sure in your leggings or skinny jeans that you choose something that's maybe it's a pull on or it's a little bit more comfortable. They're not your quote unquote skinny jeans. And by that, I don't mean skinny as in cut. I mean, skinny as in they fit you when you're a few pounds down. You ladies know what I mean, right? And so pick your shoes, then pick your pants and then choose your top. So what I might consider is maybe you wear a simple tank top. A simple tank is a great layer to build on. From there, you could choose a cardigan or a lightweight jacket, maybe something that has a tie, and then you can add a layer. Maybe you have a heavier sweater or a heavier jacket that you wear if you need that for the temperature. Now, depending on where you are in the world, now you might not be celebrating Thanksgiving. However, here in the U.S., this is our custom. So if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving, then you can still use these tips for holiday gatherings family reunions, get togethers. So if Thanksgiving isn't something that is in your culture, just substitute what is. Start with the basic tank, then pile on a jacket, a cardigan. You could even do a big scarf or a wrap, and then just keep your jewelry really simple. Understated. Thanksgiving typically is not the time to go all out. For some of you though, it is. Maybe it is a dressier event. Maybe you do go all out and you use your crystal and you use your china and you do get dressed up. Now, I know years ago, my family all used to go to the beach. We would all meet down at Polly's Island and we would get together. And so Thanksgiving Day was really full of a lot of great memories of going out on the beach. The weather would typically be gorgeous, a little bit chilly. So we'd usually be wearing short sleeves. Oftentimes we'd be barefoot because we were at the beach, right? But we still kept it simple. Now, sadly, we don't go to the beach anymore. However, we do get together at my sister's house and we just have a really relaxed, low-key gathering. You know, we have several different tables going. You know, some of the men like to sit on the couches and watch the football games while they eat. So it's very relaxed. It's very casual. It's pretty much a come as you are. But one thing that I've always loved to do is dress up just a little bit, not full on dress up, but just get dressed. I am not a real low-key jeans and a t-shirt or wear your sweatpants kind of girl. That's just never been my jam. And I know years ago, my cousins would ask me, why are you so dressed up? I'm like, because I can be, because I like to be, because it makes me feel good. It makes me feel more like who I am. And so you do you, whatever your comfort level is. If you're the most dressed up person at Thanksgiving, great. If you're the most casual person at Thanksgiving, great, but you do you. And think about how you're going to show up on Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day is a day to be grateful for the people that you love, for the great food you have to share, and for all the blessings we have in our lives. And so let's go back and recap these these steps. Number one, wear something you love. Number two, wear pants you can eat in. Number three, accessorize with ease. This is not the time to be pulling out all your great accessories. Keep it simple. Number four, wear layers because you want to be prepared for all the temperature changes. And number five, choose shoes that are right for you and right for the occasion and will make you feel good. You don't ever want to feel trapped by your shoes. I remember a Thanksgiving years ago where I wore my big tall boots to Thanksgiving and it got really warm and I felt trapped because I felt that I couldn't really take them off. It just didn't feel appropriate, but I was really hot with them on. So <laughs> that was a lesson to me that footwear first. So choose your shoes first, choose your comfortable pants, lightweight layers, tank or top, sweater or cardigan, jacket, scarf, and you're good to go. And just remember, when you wear layers, you can always take a piece off or you can always add a piece. 
but when you wear just one heavy piece, you're very, very limited. Ladies, I want you to have a beautiful, beautiful Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time with family, or if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, have a beautiful week. And I hope these tips will help you be able to put together an outfit perfect for a family gathering, no matter what you're doing. I want you to feel beautiful. I want you to feel comfortable. And most of all, I want you to feel more like yourself. I hope you love this episode. If you did, I would love for you to go leave me a five-star review. Let me know what your, your favorite tip was and let me know what you wore for Thanksgiving. Screenshot this episode and send me a DM on Instagram. Tag me, post your stories. Let me know what you loved and what you'd love to hear more of. Have a beautiful day. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in to Style by Mary Michelle, where women come to get dressed in seven minutes or less. If you enjoyed this podcast, I invite you to leave me a five-star review on iTunes or wherever you're listening. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Style by Mary Michelle and shop our boutique at shopstylefinder.com for the best in upscale casual apparel. Better yet, if you're in the Raleigh area, come see us. We're located in the North Hills Shopping Center, the premier shopping district in Midtown Raleigh. For details and links mentioned in this episode, be sure to see the show notes. Have a beautiful week.